All right, guys, here we go. We're starting the trash. This is Pam's, Miss Goldfish's famous cage and trash is what she likes to call it. And what she has in the pan right here is equal amounts of uh, corn checks, rice, uh, rice checks, and wheat checks. And then she has the um, these pretzel sticks. I like these little thin ones. The little thin, they're just, they, they get real crispy. Some pecan halves. Uh, goldfish will go in there last because she says that they will absorb too much of her special sauce that she pours on there. And then uh, get you some peanuts. Really, guys, any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of nuts or whatever you want to put in there. Some people, we used to put Cheerios in there. But um, no, it's not crappie. But when you're out there fishing, you're going to love having a bag of this to munch on while you're fishing. So anyway, we've got equal parts in there. Just, you know, mix and match the way you like it. And then right here is the, she's going to pour this over the top of all this mixture here. And I'll show you what we'll do with it next. But this is what goes in the uh, saucepan. Worcestershire sauce. What'd you say? A tablespoon? Two? Three. Three. Three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of celery salt and a stick of butter and then if you really want to go all out i fried some bacon this morning and we saved the grease and we've got a uh, about a quarter cup of bacon grease in there all right i'm going to pour this over here and then we'll go pop it in the pit boss Miss Pam has always made that Cajun trash in, inside the house. This time of year, you know, she makes it in the house in the oven, and it always smells so good. But we thought, what the heck, we wanted to try it on the Pit Boss. Just put a little bit of a smoky flavor to that to that trail mix, that trash that we call it. And uh, so, I, you know, I'm excited to see how it's going to taste. She said the temperature needs to be around 250, so we've got it on 250. And I've got a, um, also got an extra smoker tube in there to put more smoke on it. She just brought it out. There it is. She put the, hey, it's got, it's, all, it's got fish in it. See the little goldfish? It's got the goldfish, pecans, pretzels, cereals, peanuts. This is going to be good when, the, when you're out there. You're going to forget about fishing. You're going to have your hand in that bag munching on this stuff. It's good. All right, guys, changing plans. Uh, originally said that we would cook this at 250 degrees. That's what we cook it in the house. But on the pit boss, that's a little bit too hot. So we cut, uh, dialed it back to about 200. And instead of stirring it every 30 minutes, we're doing it about every 15 minutes. Uh, and rather than stir, I'll show you what we're going to do here in just a minute as soon as Miss Pam gets out here. This is what we're doing now instead of stirring the stuff, guys. Let's get you another pan put on top. I don't know why we didn't think about this before. How do it taste? Stuff is crunchy. I don't know if it's the pit boss or what, but it's really crispy. And everything has a good, good smoke taste to it. Bag it up. 